What's up everybody, my name is Vince. I'm the owner here at VCG Construction, so it makes me a small business owner, but I'm also a YouTube personality. personality. And a lot of times, on, in both spaces, in the world of business, and here on YouTube, I get the same question. What's a good starter toolkit for an apprentice? Today, we're gonna answer that question and show you that you can get good quality tools for a reasonable price. Let's get started. So as an apprentice, you're gonna be learning the ropes. You're gonna get your feet wet in the world of construction. The reality is though, is that you don't even know if you're gonna like the work yet. So I'm going to stress to you, look for deals, look for bargains. Don't spend top dollar on the newest fangled technology or, you know, oh, this has 3,000 Cordura, you know, uh, your nylon for your tool belt. And yo, this is a standard. We'll start with, this is my tool belt. It's a standard nylon tool belt, okay? There's a space here for my knife screwdrivers, nail punches, we'll talk about all what's here and what I think is required. But, you know, you have pouches, you got a, a little pouch for your tape measure, it has plenty of pouches, it's, it's, you know, it has a hammer hook. It's not expensive, I think this tool belt is like 20 bucks. I love it, I've had it for years. Sometimes during the summer I might slim down and in the winter, you know, I might blow up a little bit. It's got a nice adjustment here and it's easy to adjust. And I think that every apprentice should have a tool belt. Why? Because there's a place for your tools. You put them aside in the job box at the end of the day, your tools go in there. The next day you come in, they're ready for work. If you don't have a tool belt, inevitably, you're gonna take things like screwdrivers and nail sets and put them in your pockets. Once they're in your pocket, they're there, they might end up home at your house you're getting ready to go to bed or, or get on change to get a shower, you're gonna empty your pockets onto your bureau and boom, out comes your, your screwdriver, out comes your nail set, they end up on your bureau. The next morning you get up, you run out of the house, you forget your screwdriver or your nail set, and then you don't have them for work that day. We could avoid all this by making sure we have a good tool belt. One of the first things you're gonna need and I think every apprentice needs, doesn't matter which trade they're in, pretty much, you're gonna need a good hammer. I like a good steel necked hammer as opposed to a hickory or fiberglass necked hammer because if your nail striking abilities aren't that great just yet, you don't have to worry about damaging your fiberglass and possibly losing the head of your hammer off the handle. Same thing with hickory, okay? So this is gonna take a lot more abuse. This hammer is a Vaughn, made in the USA. America, yeah. Made in American hammer. But I gotta tell you, was it expensive? Well, it probably was when it was regularly priced. But if you didn't see the live stream, this is your first time to the channel, you might not know that we scored this American made Vaughn hammer for roughly $9. You can see the video here. We did it on live stream. We'll link it here. So you can get good quality tools that will last you a lifetime and let you, as you progress, make, make tons of money, okay? On special and on deal. You can get them reasonably priced. You don't have to spend tons of money, especially as an apprentice, okay? So get yourself a good hammer. You're gonna need a good utility knife. This is also an American made. What you gonna do when we come for you? This is Stanley. Okay, what's great about this is, look at this blade. It's got a quick, it's got a quick change feature. You're able to pop the blade out, put it back in, okay? If you were to reverse the blade, this blade's pretty much shot. What else is great about it is it has onboard storage for more blades. All you do is pull it out, you push this button here, You pop your blade in, right back to work with a fresh blade. This knife, I believe, was also right around $9. And this knife in particular is years old, years and years old. It's gonna last you a long time 
if you keep it in your tool belt. Why do I say that? Because you're less likely to lose your knife if it rides in a tool belt. All your tools go back into their belt. You don't have to worry about putting it down somewhere on the job, not picking it back up and not leaving with it. Put it down in your tool belt. It'll last you years. Also, this knife made our video the top 10 tool gifts for under $10 along with some of the other, other offerings in this tool belt, we'll link that video here. It's another, and there's actually links in that video for you to buy some of these tools if you needed to. I think a mul instead of buying kits of screwdrivers that have multi, you know, different number of screwdrivers, buy a multi-screwdriver, especially as an apprentice. I actually love this Lennox blue and white screwdriver. It has multi-functions, it has the big, the big head, wide heads, it has the thinner heads. It also doubles and triples as a nut driver. It's a good screwdriver. Think it's essential. You have to have a screwdriver. You need to have these items as an apprentice. As a carpenter's apprentice or a contractor's apprentice, it's always good to have some nail sets. I think you should have a set of nail sets. You definitely need a speed square. Every apprentice should have a speed square. You could use this across multiple trades as well, in my opinion. It's good to have speed square. You're always, I don't care what trade you're in, you're gonna need a good tape measure, okay? I like the Stanley Fat Max. This isn't magnetic. It's a 25 footer. Sometimes during the course of the year, you'll find these at your local big box on sale two for 20, but you're gonna to wanna to have something that's easily readable, has a long standout. I think that every apprentice, you're gonna to need to buy a tape measure. And I think that this is a good brand and it's not overly expensive. As an apprentice, especially a carpentry apprentice, I think you need some good pry bars, okay? I mean, once again, you could use screwdrivers to pry certain things open if you're in, let's just say you're an electrician or something or a plumber, but screwdriver is not really a prying tool, okay? Unless it's a, maybe a demo screwdriver. If a carpenter, electrician, you're still gonna wanna have some good pry bars. I like these Dascos, okay? Because they're made in the USA. America, yeah. You're definitely gonna wanna have a five and one, especially as a carpenter's apprentice, okay, or even just a contractor's apprentice, this, this comes handy in multiple, multiple ways. Get yourself a good five and one. As a carpenter's apprentice, you're also gonna wanna get, these are really, these are really worn. It's always good to have some nail pullers and snippers. You use these in multiple, multiple ways. Why do I like these so much, these channel lock? Because they're made in the USA. And last but not least, inside my tool belt. I mean, this is my personal tool belt, and these are my hand tools, and this is what I think apprentice should have when they arrive here to work. A nice chalk box, and it should have blue chalk in it. If you're saying to yourself, man, I wanna pick up this chalk box, but I don't know, they have these chalk boxes. They have, you could get blue, or you could get red, or you could get black. Always remember, the reds and the blacks, they're indelible, okay? Blue is actually not indelible. It will leave a mark, can be cleaned off. It's not necessarily totally just wipeable, but if you're buying a chalk box to mark things like chair rail or whatever it may be, if you make the mistake of using red chalk or black chalk, you could find yourself in a situation where you need to reprime and paint an entire room because you couldn't get your chalk marks off. Go with something that's cleanable like a blue. Keep that in mind. So there you go. Oh, the chalk box isn't the last item. I forgot the most important thing and it goes along with your tape measure. And that is your pencil. Every apprentice needs to have a writing instrument. 
So make sure you have a good carpenter's pencil. I personally like this Swanson. It rides here on my pencil pole. People make fun of me because I use a pencil pole, but guess what? I always have my pencil on the job. And those same people that make fun of me because of my pencil pole always seem to be asking me for my pencil. And it's always right here. Now why do I like this Swanson pencil? Because it's the Swanson always sharp. Your tip starts to dull out, all you gotta do, boom, pop it in there, you got a sharp tip. Every apprentice needs to have a sharp pencil on the job. So there's my list of the essential tools that every apprentice in construction should have. If there's anything that you think I missed, make sure you leave it down in the comments section below. Some of these tools can be found in the video, top 10 tool gifts for under 10 bucks. They're a good quality item, but they don't even cost $10. Go check that video out, it's linked right here. We even have the links in the video, so maybe you could pick some of these tools up. Go and check it out. If you like our list, make sure you smash the like button. If you know somebody that's becoming a contractor's apprentice, share this video with them. We hope you'll get subscribed. Smash that bell notification because we're constantly going live and we're always doing giveaways. With that, I wanna say thanks for spending the time with me and finding out what the best beginner tool kit actually is. It might not be what you think is the best beginner tool kit, but it's what we think is the best beginner's tool kit. And I've only been doing this probably, I don't know, 30 years, so, I don't know. But if you were coming to work here, this is the stuff you would need to get started. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.